Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. So today I want to look at a Max Ginsburg painting. This has always been one of my favorites. It's a bit grim, but I love the design and I love the dramatic feel of it. And what I want to do is just lay the harmonic armature on top of it to show the artist how they can use the diagonal lines of the armature to create drama. So let me get started. Before I drop the armature down, I just want to point out a few things. You have a dominant horizontal line right here. And you have a dominant diagonal line right here. You have a subordinate diagonal there, and then you have another one here. You also have horizontal lines running through here. You have a diagonal there. And you also have vertical divisions running with these smokestacks in the background as well. And these are also derived from the armature, the 14 line grid, and I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, what you see on my screen is the same painting with the armature. And the first thing I notice is that dominant diagonal line right in here. The figure lays right on that diagonal line as well as this subordinate diagonal with, within the face. The armature frames in this area of the face. It's a critical point in the composition. And the armature is framing that in. You also have that dominant horizontal line that I talked about right here with these diagonal lines intersecting. I can bring that over. There's your dominant horizontal line. And again, here's that subordinate diagonal line here with the man. The figure is leaning on this diagonal line. If I drive a vertical here, I'm picking up this vertical there in the arm. You have that horizontal line that I was talking about right here. And that diagonal line right in the leg at that point. Then you also have another division here which frames in that area as well. You have another horizontal line right here where these diagonal lines intersect. Remember, wherever two or more diagonal lines intersect, you can drive a vertical and horizontal line through it. Also notice too with the helmet right here how it's framed in with these diagonal lines. And then you have another horizontal line here right at the bottom of the hat. You have a vertical here where those diagonal lines intersect. You have another one here. Try that again. One right there. You have a vertical here where these two diagonal lines intersect. And if I dropped more lines across and down, I would pick up these verticals as well. What I want to do though is I want to solidify that line and make it blue. And point this stuff out so it's a little bit more clear. Actually, let me make it yellow. There we go. You have this diagonal line here. The figure's resting on that area, that diagonal line. You have that main diagonal line, like I said, right here. And then this one that's framing in the profile. You have this dominant horizontal line right here, which is being derived from these two diagonal lines intersecting. This is framed in the top at that point. You have another division here, actually. And then again, you have that diagonal line being played out. Remember, the artist can use these diagonal lines to follow certain paths in their subject, whether it's a still life, a figure, uh, a portrait, a scene. It doesn't matter. You can use the armature in many, many ways. Juliet Aristides talks about this in classical painting atelier. There are several ways the artists use it. They can frame in, rest their figures or elements on the diagonal lines, create divisions, or all of them combined. It really is endless what you can do, but you'll discover that a lot of the artists, they use it in very similar ways. But remember that the armature provides an endless amount of variety. And like I said, framing in that hat there, because that's a, it's an important part. You have that vertical with the arm, the stump of the arm. And of course, you have these horizontal lines running through, framing in certain areas as well. You could drive a vertical right here, which frames in the in the side of the face again. 
you have this diagonal line right here being played out with the smoke, right? At that point, here as well. You have that vertical right here. But that looks like a smokestack in the back. And you have that one here. These are just a few divisions, a few diagonal lines being played out. I'm not dropping down thousands of lines, just a few. But it gives you an idea of how the artist can use the armature, the diagonal lines, vertical and horizontal, to create divisions, frame in, rest their, rest their subjects on diagonal lines. Like I said, this figure is leaning on this diagonal line as this one is as well. And there's more elements that I could point out, but I don't want to go crazy. I don't want to overwhelm the viewer, but you get the idea of what you can do here with the armature. You know, you also have diagonal lines being played out here in these green pa in these green patches right here. It's creating directions. Creates movement, angles. But that's going to be it for today. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it as always.